Good morning, Mr. President Trump. It's good to see you again. At 4.30, the Lord said to me, I am going to give your president a second win. Oh. And the Lord said he is ready for the next four years, and I'm giving him a second win. The Fox News decision desk can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden will win Pennsylvania and Nevada, putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th president of the United States. Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States, who stated in this process, I will never give up fighting for you and our nation, will be denied a second term. That has not happened since 1992 and President George H.W. Bush. Keep in mind the Trump campaign is in the midst of waging legal challenges in several states, but the path is clear for the new president-elect. In the middle of a pandemic, almost 150 million Americans voted, and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will receive the most votes of any presidential ticket ever. And the Lord said he is ready for the next four years, and I'm giving him a second Most of the prophets all over the country, the great prophets who I honor and respect, who I give credence to, men of God, prophets of God, men of God, most of them are prophesying that President Trump will be reelected as president. I'm going to say this to you. I prophesied maybe about some months ago that Trump will triumph. That was the word that I heard in my spirit. The CNN projection that I saw in my dream was Joe Biden as the president of the United States. Here's what Prophet Karn is saying to you today. I prophetically prophesied that Trump will be reelected. But as a prophet, since Sunday, there is an uneasiness I'm feeling in my spirit that something is shifting and changing in the balance. The word of the Lord came to me. I had a vision and in the vision, I, you know, I tell y'all, if I have a dream, it's 50-50. It could have been what I ate last night. <laughs> but if I have a vision, you can put your life on it. And I had a vision. I was having a conversation with Hillary. And I said to her, are you sure you want to be president? I said that the next eight years are going to be worse than the last eight years. Then she smiled. She said she was sure. And then I heard military planes flying over my head in the spirit. The Lord says there's going to be a forced conclusion that's coming to the White House. People will lose trust in the voting process. They will deny and doubt America's political process to vote and acquire leadership. This next election will be manipulated. Even Trump will confront his fate and stir many to a position or place to ride in. This will cause upheaval to come because the political game was revealed in this upcoming season for it shall be historic, says the Lord. Hmm. And Hillary will be found at the end of the day smiling with success as a new war begins the saying goes the bigger they are the harder they fall and this will be trump's greatest blunder and his mockery will be his legacy says the lord because it is in the 90 days of your summer they shall gather and they shall do more finger pointing to accuse this president falsely. And it is in this moment, within this 90 days of summer, as they shall call out your president. Little do they know that this shall end up
the office and there will be a praying man in the highest seat in your land there will be a praying president not a religious one but I will fool the people says the Lord I will fool the people yes I will God says the one that is chosen shall go in and they shall say he has hot blood for the Spirit of God says yes he may have hot blood but he will bring the walls of protection on this country in a greater way and the economy of this country shall change rapidly says the Lord of hosts listen to the word of the Lord God says I will put at your helm for two terms a president that will pray but he will not be a praying president when he starts I will put him in office and then I will baptize him with the Holy Spirit and my power says the Lord of hosts well I, here goes I want to share with you I was praying on Sunday saying God please tell me how it's going to happen and I hope I've got the word but first of all I want to say without question Trump is going to win the election uh, God's going to clean off the news media um, you know, God is looking for his people right now, his millionaires and his billionaires, basically, to come in and start investing in these places and buying them out, taking over. God's going to rebuild them and restore them because there's no spirit of truth in them right now. And that's what God's going to restore. Taylor believes Trump's victory is just the beginning. The fireman prophet also predicts the church will thrive and America will see a great move of God. The army of God will have victory after victory after victory. And I love what President Trump always says. He says, you're going to get sick and tired of winning if there is such a thing. And that's going to be the same way for the army of God. That's going to be victory after victory after victory. Will it be an eight-year presidency? Absolutely. Absolutely will. are uh, that this tips us into recession and how should the government respond? Uncomfortably high. I'd say they're better than even odds at this point that uh, this is going to push us into recession. Uh, the Federal Reserve needs to cut interest rates. They have a bit more to go here and I think they will over the next few next week and the week thereafter. Uh, but they don't have a whole lot of room to maneuver so the onus will quickly switch to the president, President Trump, and Congress to come up with some fiscal stimulus, uh, tax cuts, spending increases, help to the folks that are being hardest hit. If that doesn't come pretty soon, and if it's not an aggressive stimulus, uh, recession will be very difficult to avoid. The coronavirus pandemic is about to bring on a wave of bankruptcies in 2020. Big apparel brands and department stores like J. Crew, Merck's Brothers, Neiman Marcus, and J.C. Penney all filed for bankruptcy to reorganize their businesses. Car rental company Hertz declared bankruptcy. Oil driller Chisholm fracking pioneer Chesapeake Energy, and your favorite childhood restaurant, Chuck E. Cheese, also went under. So far, there have been 3,604 commercial Chapter 11 bankruptcies in the first half of 2020, from January 2020 to the end of June 2020. That's a 26% increase from the same period last year. Total commercial Chapter 11 filings in July 2020 increased 52% from the previous year. Restaurants also surpassed the number of total closures in retail due to the COVID-19 pandemic. As of July 10th, there have been over 26,160 total restaurant closures, an increase of 2,179 since June 15th. That's according to data from Yelp. About 60% are permanently closed, with bars being especially hit hard. The army of God will have victory after victory. Who is going to win? Uh, has God shown you? I looked around and just out of conversation, I said, Lord, Joe Biden don't need to be president. And just like this, just like if you'd answered me, he said, he won't, just like that. He said, he won't. And then he said this, he said, and after the election, now this is gonna sound strange, but he said, the Democratic Party will go underground and I don't think that, I, I don't know exactly what that means, but he said that they would go underground like the throne of Pergamon, the throne of Satan that disappeared and showed back up in Berlin. And he said they'll go underground and then reemerge at a later time. The Fox News Decision Desk can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden will win Pennsylvania and Nevada, putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th President of the United States. 
The media said what? Putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th president of the United States. <laughs> the media said Joe Biden's president. <laughs> Putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th president of the United States. The media said what? Putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th president of the United States. <laughs> the media said Joe Biden's president. <laughs>